Welcome back dear friends, inside this lecture we are going to discuss about advanced selector, how we can select the attribute from any element. For example, I've just created a simple form here, you can see form star and form close. We have just two level tag, one number two and we have just input tag, one for text and the second one for email, you can see the type. And here we have finally one button submit button and the text is submit now and this is just the output that you can see here just without any setting. So we are going to use some CSS to select all the attribute from this form. So this is the topic. First we have form you can just control C to copy and go to your CSS. You can paste and open these two curly braces. So the first thing that I can do here is to set a border, for example, two pixel, solid, red border. You can save and refresh. Now you can see I've just set a two pixel of red border around this form. And I can use anything here like padding, maybe something like 30 pixel or 25 pixel. I'm using padding. Save. And refresh so this is just 25 pixel of pairing around this form so after the form we have label tag you can select the label by pressing ctrl C or command C you can paste here and curly braces the first thing you can just select the display to block save it will change the position from horizontally to vertically you can see now we have just this two level uh, vertically but the button is still it is here we want this button and just drop down and you can put a comma here after the level and select the button also in display block section now you can see we have just a form here so for the button you can just select the button separately also for example just like this button then curly braces margin uh, from the top I'm just going to use some 10 pixel of margin for the button now you can see we have just a little bit space here for the button you can just increase or decrease this let's just use this to 50 pixel save and refresh the next thing that you can do is here you can select the input tag and the button just by using Pacero or group selector so I'm just using input tag, a comma, then button. Curly braces. You can say the width for this should be something like 220 pixel width. Save and refresh. So let's check. Here not dot. Here we can use comma. Save and refresh. So the same way you can just uh, apply here any attribute like height maybe uh, 25 pixel of height save and refresh so you can see this the height but for button we have separate we have a separate class i can just define a new height for the button separately maybe like 45 pixel of height for the button save and refresh so button you can just Control X this and paste here because CSS read the last element. Now you can see we have just the 45 pixel of height for the button. So we have just selected the label, we have selected the input tag, we have selected the button. These all things are easy. But what about if we just select the type that we have inside input tag? Type one time type two time type and three time type that we have used inside button so for selecting this is called attribute that we have inside form like type we have here like four you can see these all are called attribute for selecting attribute you need to just open this two bracket and if you want to just select the type for example after this bracket you can open curly braces for example i want to just select uh, apply border something like uh, maybe two pixel solid red now we can save 
and refresh so you can see we have a red border around them anything you want you can do here for example you can set the font size like 20 px save and refresh now you can see it is just totally increased you can just set this maybe 18 pixel save and refresh so we have text here like email like name that is stored inside level and we have a four so you can just copy this control c you can paste and replace type with four two pixels solid blue border and font size is just okay refresh now you can see you have just a blue border around them so if you want you can just increase or decrease the font size just from here just you you want just something like a 20 pixel of font size just bigger than that so you can see this font size are increased and there is nothing left inside this form we have selected the form we have selected the label input tag and we have selected the button inside button we have attribute like type and for we have just selected all this here you can see from form till here we have selected all of this so try to use uh, nothing is a uh, useful so you can see useless uh, you need to learn everything if you want to be complete so this is just a little or a basic form that we have used here to select the attribute i'm just going to remove this bar from here because it's not looking good if you want you can keep this save and refresh so this is the form that we have selected the attribute here so try to watch the video and do practice so till next class have a nice time and see you